Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, holy light keepers of the spiritual Lavalution Awakening. We have now fully entered the unified field of the quantum space-time continuum. We may now access our presence in any realm, timeline, or dimension. We connect to these timelines through the still white magnetic light at the center of our being, your pure presence. This is the zero point or singularity of your universe, which is a wormhole and which we call an einstein rosen bridge the gateway to all realms timelines and dimensions we may now merge all aspects of our multi-dimensional infinite self through the rainbow bridge within and become whole and complete once again this is a return to source the return to self total purity and innocence Christ Consciousness returns to the earth on this day through every living heart of the pure ones of our earth angelic ground crew team of the 144. A Messiah is simply God having a lucid dream. What is being lucid? This is waking up within the dream, within the matrix, merging your dream consciousness with your waking real consciousness. This is what we are doing now. Realizing that we are one with Source, that separation exists only within the false matrix, we come into full realization that we are Buddha having a temporary human experience and in this Gnosis, we become free from the cycles of birth and death. Although to be a cosmic conscious being of light, we must live and walk the middle path of peace, balance, and harmony. This is the Tao, the way. We are truly in the final countdown. Let us rejoice and say, Peace be unto thee, universal citizens of the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul, White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. Happy Mother's Day today to our people in the UK and to all mothers in the world. Have a most beautiful and blessed day of celebration for all our mamas deserve the highest love, the highest light, the highest truth, 222 two, two coming in. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end. And please do us a favor, please share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And as the higher energetics continue to pulse into this realm, we had an amplitude blast today of 13 hertz on the Schumann Residence, 13 aligning with Cosmic Goddess Christos, Divine Feminine Consciousness. We had many activations all over this realm with 123 M1.5 or Greater Earthquakes, 1, 2, 3. The most powerful today, 5.8 in Ecuador. At 428 UTC, 0 0.909, 99 portal, 9th dimensional energy coming in, longitude 79.589, 26 kilometer depth. The Kundalini of Pachamama rising as we rise with her. Now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 12 degrees, 24 minutes Aquarius. The sun is at 7 degrees. 13 minutes Aries, 73 into the 37 heaven on earth. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 8 degrees Aries. A woman's hat with streamers blown by the east wind. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 13 degrees Aquarius. A barometer from astrologyweekly.com. Now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the Animal Spirits Knowledge Cards from Susan Boulay. The cards she pulled for you today are Illustrious Monkey, Symbology, Agility, Courage, Spirit. The monkey is an ancient deity worshipped by Middle Eastern peoples. In the Hindu Ramayana, the monkey hero named Hanuman helps rescue Sita, the god Vishnu's queen. 444 flowing in, who had been abducted by a demon. Hanuman was made invincible by Brahma, 
the grandfather and creator, and possesses the skill and agility to leap across the heavens. He leads a monkey army against the demon and rescues Sita, for which he is granted everlasting life. This painting of a monkey recalls the power of Hanuman and his dominion over the heavens. And the blue monkey holds the keys and the codes to the alchemy of immortality. Time to tap into the DNA of your monkey magic and swing your way to freedom. And yes, you can swing dance if you like. Just get into the beat, get into the mood. <laughs> <laughs> now we continue from Divine Brother of the Light Swami, Kriyananda, excerpt from Do It Now, and some final thoughts on humor. Self-importance is the death of wisdom. It is best combated by a light sense of humor, especially learn to laugh at yourself. Never feel that to lack a sense of humor is to show greater dignity. True dignity means to be centered within. It doesn't mean to be pompous. Rather, it means to be inwardly relaxed and centered in one's inner self, regardless of whether life's circumstances sweep you left or right, forward or back. Always try to retain your inner mental balance. Self-importance increases inner tension and thereby reduces one's true happiness. I have emphasized the importance of keeping a good sense of humor. Always remember, too, that the underlying reality of everything is bliss. Seek bliss at the heart of everything, and laugh with bliss. For beloved beings of light, we laugh our way to freedom. Open the heart and laugh to the heavens, because this is it. A big cosmic joke. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Lisa Marie Wright, The main event is drawing near. A magically transformational wave of love light so powerful it will forever transform life as we have known it on this planet. It will lead to massive awakenings all across the globe, huge shifts in consciousness, and higher and higher states of being. The energy will be seen and felt by all. No, we are not going back to normal. We are going beyond our wildest dreams. Love light has won. Welcome home. Welcome to the new golden age of abundance of all forms. Buckle up, this freedom ride is about to get extremely intense. Thank you for being here now and assisting with this challenging, yet magical, transformational shift. Much love, shine on. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Morichetti, Misuse of Power equals galactic and Atlantean distortions. We are clearing these timelines to activate our Christed aspects through our compassion and our sacred heart. We are working so deeply on dissolving our fear of being in our real divine power. This passageway is so intense and it's clearly showing us our polarities, our ego programs, our distortions, and also our divine Christed aspect. Be your Christed aspect. Breathe and expand your heart above and beyond any judgment and any fear. Observe the triggers. Activate your compassion for humanity. Much love, Christina. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Jason Michael Powers. If the inner structure of the brain is balanced, the male aspect will always serve the female, since seeing the part without seeing the whole is limiting, divisive, and dangerous. Gene Keys. May she be served within and without. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Morgan Lee. Something is coming. It's palpable. Can be felt in the air. I'm seeing visions of blockages in the stomach moving up into the heart. Things like fear, nervousness, lack of confidence, lack of courage, not good enough. Fear of what others might think and or their polar opposites. Programs blocking creativity, creating, creation, and it feels like a leap, an expansion, an ignition, or a reset, a turning on an active creativity, like the power switch has just been or about to be turned on. Say out loud, I am ready. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ishtara Rose, White Buffalo Calf Woman, brings in crystal pure clear water and white light. 
She brings this in crystalline form in the form of what are now called Herkimer diamonds. These are clear water crystals that come from the Haudenosaunee, Kanien, Kehaka, the people of the crystals. Today they come with the very special and unique light of white buffalo calf woman, and although these crystals have many properties and uses, they today bring this. Dear ones, gather these in your hands just for a moment. You may have some to hand physically or you may imagine you hold them and imagine yourself by a beautiful flowing river of light and the waters are crystal clear and pure and fresh and here you may find a rock to sit upon while in the sunlight as the water streams through and around you and the waters are the clearest you have ever seen and they truly are waters of light and as you rest upon this place the rock upon which you sit turns into a large holding white quartz and the waters flow like crystalline diamond around you and in your hands you hold these in manifest form for today i bring you this light in manifest form and it is the light of the purest and it is the diamonds as you hold these in this physical place you will feel my presence in white you will feel the presence of the divine and you will feel that light fill you and activate your own inner waters so they may integrate this light and align unto it. O oh, dear divine ones, open and surrender to this beauty and feel my blessing. O oh, dear and divine ones, take a while to feel this gift of grace. O oh, dear and divine ones, dwell here for a while and let yourselves be blessed by my light. For I am here with so many of you now, here risen, present, and pure. As you drink in this diamond light, let it fill you and feel you and feel you and dwell here, dwell here and become one with this now. Some of you may feel us present with white feathers with you and around you. We are transmitting to you holy and divine light of the white diamond rays to open and expand your light body so you may hold and vibrate this light through you. So uplift into this, this light. And this is where you are to be right now. We ask you this, so you may bring this holy light into your vessels and shine it out upon your earth. And this is what matters. And if you are hearing this, this is what you are here to do and nothing more. Just to drink, dwell, and emanate this vibration is enough to be it, to become it, and all that you are. We are here with you now and always. Peace is yours now if you so choose this love light to all and from divine sister of light nicole mckindo energy update you don't just become an expert straight away as the gifts and abilities you have awoken come online all new skill sets and learnings take practice you may find yourself wishing to have experiences and new types of activities at this time seeds have been planted and they are starting to sprout for me what is starting to show itself in my reality is linked to expansion of the mind through the heart space and seeing where I can go from there with particular interest to lucid dreaming, manifesting, and remaining as high a perspective as possible, shifting from 3D to 5D in terms of thinking. We never stop thinking, but it's where these thoughts originate from that is shifted. The once egoic mind has been put in its place and the heart-led mind wishes to take you on journeys unknown to venture into the vastness of all that is and to find your place amongst it, beauty and benevolence. Having placed my interest and therefore my energy on learning and discovering more of this skill set, and it is now coming from the heart and not the mind, I can be sure of its purity, its truth, and I fully trust that as I explore these new divine gifts that I am fully supported, loved, and guided. Ask and ye shall receive. What gifts or abilities have you become aware of and how are you practicing them? Are you ready to go where they're leading you? So exciting, loving you all through this extraordinary journey. I am with you all. As you expand, I expand. We are one. Peace. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Clarissa Pinkola Estes. Ours is not the task of fixing the entire world all at once but of stretching out to mend the part of the world that is within our reach. Any small, calm thing that one soul can do to help another soul, 
to assist some portion of this poor suffering world will help immensely. It is not given to us to know which acts or by whom will cause the critical mass to tip toward an enduring good. What is needing for dramatic change is an accumulation of acts, adding, adding to, adding more, continuing. We know that it does not take everyone on earth to bring justice and peace, but only a small, determined group who will not give up during the first, second, or hundredth gale. One of the most calming and powerful actions you can do to intervene in a stormy world is to stand up and show your soul. Soul on deck shines like gold in dark times. The light of the soul throws sparks, can send up flares, builds signal fires, causes proper matters to catch fire. To display the lantern of our soul in shadowy times like these. To be fierce and to show mercy toward others. Both are acts of immense bravery and greatest necessity. Struggling souls catch light from other souls who are fully lit and willing to show it. If you would help to calm the tumult, this is one of the strongest things you can do. There will always be times when you feel discouraged. I too have felt despair many times in my life, but I do not keep a chair for it. I will not entertain it. It is not allowed to eat from my plate. In that spirit, I hope you will write this on your wall. When a great ship is in harbor and moored, it is safe. There can be no doubt, but that is not what great ships are built for. From Clarissa Pincolaestis.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ramona Lappin Let your true self be revealed to you. Let go of the identification of who you think you are with your thoughts, beliefs of what is right and wrong, and surrender them all to God. Where did it all come from anyway? Keep surrendering them one by one, thought after thought, wave after wave, not judging, not putting anything into boxes of right and wrong, not trying to solve or change anything. They simply are. Just let them be, floating away, dissolving into the sky. Keep letting it all go. Empty yourself of the past and let God's source fulfill you and show you the way and the truth. Be the Buddha. Become formless, timeless, limitless, boundless. Release the burden of thought, attachment, and identification. Become empty and let God's source and your true self fulfill you. Become at one with the mind of God. Transcend the Maya. Let go of the mind and drop ever more deeply into your heart letting fully go of the illusions of old inserted, inverted, and manipulated thoughts. They were never true to begin with. Dissolve the false matrix with all its remaining programs from deep inside yourself. Let it go. Let it burn. Let the fires of purification and ascension dissolve all that is untrue, until only that which is true remains, which can only be felt to be truly known. Keep letting the veils and illusions of the old, your false, programmed self dissolve and burn away for your true self to truly rise from the ashes of the old now. Let it dissolve all remaining sense of separation that keeps us stuck in the old polarizing world and its many inversions, all held together by inverted thoughts and false projections. The mirror becomes clearer and clearer as we continue to let go of the false mind, the maya, dropping ever deeper into the wisdom of our sacred crystal hearts. This is where true wisdom dwells. Keep releasing, keep rising, surrender to it all. Keep letting go to remove the last veil and let the truth be shown to you in all. Let it arise from within you, let God's source show you what is really true. Eternal love, Ramona. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury enters Aries, actions speak louder than words. The mind is fired up with ideas and opinions, and there's a drive to get started on projects we have been mulling over. Don't let uncertainty hold you back, ask for clarification. Check the facts, toss a coin if you can't decide. Forward momentum generates further clever ideas to leapfrog you over obstacles. Sometimes straight talking is the only way to truly clear the air and make yourself heard. Take care, however, that words aren't used as weapons. Give others the time they need to express themselves. Be patient. Even if your thoughts are speeding ahead, initiate conversation. Everyone has an interesting tale to tell. Speak in positive can-do terms to inspire change and fuel courage. 
Say Yes from LeahWhitehorse.com and from 13 Moon Peace Time. While wearing a human body, you inhale, you exhale, you see the sun rise, you see it set. Look at nature to restore your certainty that you are part of a flow and then recognize how your thought contributes to arising appearances. One way we were shown how to see the power of our thoughts and therefore to more carefully speak and generate thoughts was to place a bit of cornmeal on a bowl of water. The water is in a bowl and you place cornmeal on it and just sit naturally and think of some image and see that becoming portrayed in the movement of the cornmeal or flower on the water. Also, we can spend time in nature for those who have may forgotten our connection with the air and the power of voice and choice. By watching the clouds in the sky, we begin to see that shapes are revealed. When we cultivate a thought of thank you, oh, let me see a bear. Well, thank you. What does it mean that you appear? Then the clouds also respond. The doubt that spiritual practices make a difference can be very easily transformed in recognizing you can also study how some people are healed through the power of aspiration. Venerable Dayani Wahu, hidden treasure, hidden wisdom arises. And from the Dzolkin Times, Keen 208, Yellow Cosmic Star. Cosmic is the name for the number 13 and its keywords are transcend, endure, and presence. And it's the last day of the Yellow Warrior Wave Spell. We all have been on missions, even those who were not conscious of it. The 13th day is always tough and enduring. There's a lot to take in and process. The number 13 is powerful, but with the power comes a price, and it's not unlucky. Just intense, and of course that entirely depends on what day it combines with. Also synchronizing with the 13 hertz on the Schumann Resonance today. Today is Yellow Star, which is the symbol of beauty, art, and elegance. The cosmic star invites us to transcend beautifully or endure for art. We can all shine like stars today, but it takes effort. This is not a recipe for a laid-back, chilled-out day. Get up, go out, and see the beautiful world we all sometimes take for granted. Transcend through the beauty of nature and fill yourself up with some beautiful vibes. We are all stars of the cosmos. The last day of a wave spell is like the final destination of a journey, that had 13 stops along the way. The Yellow Warrior to Yellow Star Express was a wild ride that brought us here, which is quite a beautiful place. How was your trip? The guide today is the Yellow Human who has great intuition, when in the guiding position it is showing us how we can better navigate our own path by following our natural instincts. So from the cosmos, download what you need to know so you can sparkle. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Cosmic Star, 13, Lamat, Keen, 208, 27th of March, 2022, Fearless Cosmic Intelligence, 27, 3, 2022, equal 9, 3, 6, equal 9, 9, equal 18, equal 9, 9, 9, Divine Destiny Portal, Day Codes, 27. Power, Leadership, Command, Rewards. 18. Social Upheaval, Conflict. 9. Completion, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. Month Year Codes, 369. Nikola Tesla Code. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Happiness, Creativity, Communication. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 9. Completion, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen, 208 equal 10. Manifestation, Leadership, Authority, New Beginnings. An expansive day of beauty and creativity. Destiny is calling. Walk through the doorways to a better world. Day 13 is the final day in the Yellow Warrior wave spell of fearlessly questioning everything in our path with a profound intelligence, disabling the old paradigm and fully focused on forging a new path to a brave new world. Today as we close this 13-day journey with Keeb, our fearless Yellow Warrior, we hold the pure presence of fearless intelligence, reflecting upon our place in the harmonic matrix of creation, we have journeyed far, 
from a place of battling and harm to a new harmony. Our quest led us back to our original divine state of harmony and elegance as part of this beautiful creation. Our yellow warrior has fearlessly forged a new path to the new world, and now Lamat opens the door and beckons us to walk through. Tone of creation, cosmic is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess, in synchronic natural time. Cosmic, action transcends, power endures, essence presence. Today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal to transcend the old you, the old paradigm, the old world and old reality on this 999 portal. They all dissolve into the cosmic mists. We can transform them by our pure intelligent presence, translating into pure harmony and beauty. We have arrived. Add some. I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. Today we can be still and realize the connectedness of all things through the web of creation, transcending all but the power of pure divine harmony and grace through the frequency of pure internal presence. It is time to realign with your universal presence and upgrade your consciousness through your new and expanded divine purpose in our harmonic matrix. Allow the yellow warrior and eight's knob to use the sword of truth to cut away all that is extraneous to the endless order of consciousness, reflecting the divine patterns of pure unadulterated truth. The truth shall set you free. The brave and honorable yellow warrior has now completed his quest much stronger and wiser, and now a beautiful new adventure beckons as we enter this beautiful new world filled with infinite cosmic love. Today's question is how can I focus on the infinite beauty that unfolds me, aligning with this new harmonic matrix and ascending through pure cosmic presence? And so we bid adieu to Keeb, the courageous yellow warrior who has guided our quest through facing our greatest fears and setting a true course to new earth, finding our true north to claim our divine destiny. The rainbow warrior comes home victorious, finding the holy grail within his own precious heart. Tomorrow we commence a brand new wave spell of Muluk, the sensitive and intuitive feminine red moon goddess who will soften us into yielding to her universal waters, finding our pure harmonic flow in this new world we are collectively creating. And so our journey through the dream spell continues. Divine blessings for your transcendence into pure harmonic wisdom and full cosmic ethereal presence. Aho, dear ones, beauty and grace await you now. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 208. Yellow Cosmic Star. The mantra the code for today is. I endure in order to beautify, transcending art. I seal the store of elegance with the cosmic tone of presence. I am guided by the power of free will. And on this powerful day of activations, manifestations, and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light, Akram Muzna, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support us with a monthly pledge and help us continue bringing these free transmissions to the world daily, you can make a monthly pledge at our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com, or if you'd like to send us a one-time donation through PayPal, you can do so to our link at eaglelovecondor.com. 
I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light Marie Campolo for your purchase today. Thank you very much. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from Walking Terra Crista. Ascension Technique for Receiving Light Information Packets Travel to the Unified Whole of Oneness and call to Mahatma to integrate all 352 levels of the Mahatma into your being during every meditation. Also ask to receive the light information of all 352 levels of the Mahatma. It will come through in what would look like light packets if you looked at it clairvoyantly. Ask to receive the light information packets from the 5th, 6th, and 7th dimensions of reality. This is actual spiritual information that will be programmed into your computer banks and that you will eventually use in your future missions. It also helps to build your light quotient. You can also request to be a cosmic walk-in for the Mahatma on Earth. In doing this, you are requesting to be subtly overshadowed by the Mahatma to help heal the separation among your personality, monad, and soul, and also between you and the presence of God. It is important to only do this work in your meditation and or sleep state within the protection of the unified whole on oneness. Call upon your higher self and monad to assist you in balancing the light packets so that you can be fully grounded. It is important to allow your physical vehicle to fully ground the energies. Utilize your soul star and earth star together so that your full body system receives the light packets and can ground them within your physical vehicle. Spin each of them in a clockwise manner around the outside of your field three times. The earth star would spin towards the soul star while at the same time the soul star spins downwards towards the earth star. When you have fully finished the complete cycle three times, they return to their original position. This allows their grounding energies to be infused within your higher frequency and vice versa. Parts have been extracted from Joshua David Stone from WalkingTerraCrista.com and the Academy of the New Earth Mastery. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed week ahead as we complete our journey through the powers of March into the miracles of April. As each day we continue to rise into the dawning of the new golden age of eternal life, we are activating our total ascended mastery of our true nature of Buddha consciousness. And really feel this resonate within your sacred heart center as you expand out into the ends of the infinite multiverse. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and all days the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.